Rich Bradford here to tell you all about the recaps of the last Anguses so you know what's going on. Uh, so in the beginning, our commander of Spatula set out to Colonia for the Dove, uh, but then he got lost there like an idiot. Uh, and then he didn't leave for several months because he's an idiot. Uh, and then when he finally left on a secret mission for a cult uh, to take a mysterious canister to uh, Sagittarius A, uh, he stupidly opened the canister and uh, released an invisible cat into his cockpit. Uh, as if things couldn't get any worse, uh, he then tried to uh, kill said invisible cat with a flamethrower, which he failed to do because he's an idiot. And it damaged the ship, uh, so now he's currently spiraling out of control, uh, probably to his death. Bradford, as much as I appreciate you calling me and explaining to me how I got into this mess, I'm a little busy at the moment doing the whole not dying thing. Uh, can you do this narration some other time? Oh, okay, I get it. Uh, nobody wants to talk to Bradford. Commander Spatula is a busy guy, there's just never any time for his most loyal friend who, you know, came from another universe just to hang out with him. Bradford, seriously, I'm crashing into a planet in the middle of nowhere. Oh, it's okay, Spatula. I, I said I get it. Uh, sheesh, you don't have to tell Bradford twice, okay? Uh, if you just want me to go away, you can say so, you know, you don't have to worry about uh, Bradford's feelings. Okay, just get off the video comm so I can call for help. Oh! Okay, uh, that was that was just a test, actually, to see if you cared. You know, I am a sensitive man, and I'm, I'm not ashamed to admit it, but uh, clearly you are ashamed of our friendship. Uh, Commander? Commander? Well, the call is cutting. Oh no, the comms are out too? Wonderful. This just keeps getting better and better. Not you again. Look, if you ever want to sit by a door crying to be let out, only to decide not to go out when someone opens the door like an asshole again, then you better shut up and let me try to figure out a way out of this. Okay, Spatula, think. This isn't the first time you've been in this situation before. Uh, how did you get out last time? Okay, well, there's a first time for everything. Uh, look, this is going to require some serious science. Okay, so right now the thrusters are offline and gravity's pulling us down. Now, if I can somehow counter the effects of gravity, well, I may not be able to escape crashing on this planet, but at least I can change the angle of descent. And if I can do that, I can turn an instant death into a long, drawn-out one. Okay, so first thing I have to do is calculate the trajectory, which is easy. I'll just get Nova to do the math as usual. Nova? 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 Oh crap, systems are shutting down faster than I can think. Wait, that's your problem right there, Spatula. You're thinking again when you should be doing. Uh, quick, mash the buttons. Uh, please work, please work, please work. Four vehicle navigation guidance guide system online. Coordinates, coordinates confirmed, stand by. Nova, you're alive, and you calculated the trajectories. Oh, thank you. Okay, I, I, I just need to move the ship by 25 degrees with a thrust velocity of 25 kilometers per second for 25 seconds. Hmm. Funny how the numbers all ended up being nice round 25s. It's almost as if reality itself didn't want to do the complicated math. Okay, Nova, can, can you make those adjustments? We don't have any power, power, power to the engines right now. Oh, damn it. Well, can't you get them online for just a teensy-weensy bit? Not an option, Captain. Okay, so if I can't get thrusters online, then... How the heck am I supposed to create thrust? I have a visual. Hey, I did that just yesterday. I forgot I filmed that. Man, that was fun. Of course, Nova, you're a genius. Conventional space engines just spit out particles one way and the Newtonian forces propel the ship in the other direction. All I really need to do is shoot a hole in the hull in one direction and the air in the ship would rush out and give us a push. All right, where did I pack my gun? Relax, I've got an emergency helmet. See? No life support required. Of course, I'm a hollow me anyway, so why the hell we even need these helmets doesn't make any sense, but you get the drift. Well, there's always plan B. Oh, right. Yes, I suppose I don't have any cat sized spacesuits in here. Uh, plus, it would be hard to control the speed and timing. You're right, that was a stupid idea. Well, I guess there's only one way to do this, then. All right, Spatula, you've been waiting for this moment all your life. It's time to put those skills to use. 
Beans, beans, the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. So have the beans at every meal. I'm ready. All right, I'm only gonna have one shot at this. Come on, beans, don't let me down. Back in 2999, I had once broke the sound barrier, setting the galactic record at the annual Beanathon. But this was going to be different. I needed a controlled stream of precision flatulence. Oh, okay, here it comes. It's happening. It's working! Oh my god, it's, it's actually working! It's working. Oh, come on, just a little more. Come on! Oh no, I just need one more degree. One more degree! Come on, come on! Oh no! Worked! I can't believe that worked. G goodbye, Space Poo. Thank you. Well, it looks like that space poop was enough to align us with the crater. That might give us a chance. But without any thrusters online, it's going to be a rough landing. Alright, kitty. You go hide somewhere in the back of the ship. I'm going to strap up here. It won't be long before we hit rock bottom. But, but, but I'm not ready for this right now. We'll do it in the next episode. Stay tuned and see a special. It turns into a pancake.